I think uh, for it to work for the economy, you need to have a balanced framework. If you try to do this, uh, the magnitude of deficit reduction we need, and we need about 4 to $5 trillion in deficit reduction over the next 10 years, to try to do that only on, the bal- only on spending cuts and parts of the budget is, um, would be irresponsible and really not achievable politically. You can't pass a budget without that. So you need a balanced plan that has modest revenue increases through tax reform as well as some near-term spending savings and long-term entitlement reforms. Uh, again, I think if you, if you look at the structure of our budget and what's driving these long-term deficits, if you look at the scale of challenges we need in terms of creating some room for investing in things that matter for long-term growth, uh, you can't do it uh, through spending reductions concentrated on very narrow slices of the government where we de- the economy sort of depends on the government doing things only government can do.